हेलो गुड डे नमस्कार एंड जय हिंद एज ए साइबर सिक्योरिटी कोच आई कीप गेटिंग अ टॉप क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम साइबर सिक्योरिटी प्रोफेशनल्स हु वांट टू एनहेंस देयर करियर इनटू साइबर सिक्योरिटी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम देम इज सर शुड आई गो फॉर सी आई और शुड आई गो विथ सी सम विच सर्टिफिकेशन इज बेटर फॉर मी विच इज मोर रेस्पेक्टेड इन द इंडस्ट्री एंड विच इज मोर डिफिकल्ट दैन दी अदर वन सो डोंट वरी इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डू ए क्रिटिकल एनालिसिस बिटवीन द टू सर्टिफिकेशन एंड बाई द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई एम ऑल्सो गोइंग टू गिव यू माई एक्सपर्ट एडवाइज ऑन द सेम विच विल help you to decide which certification you should go for if you are new to this channel my name is manoj sharma and i am a cyber security instructor who coaches for all these different uh, certifications and if you want to keep getting such valuable information do subscribe to the channel with that said let's dive into the first part so cissp this stands for certified information system security professional it is actually hosted by a non profitable us organization called as international information system security certification consortium quite a mouthful right that is the reason why we call it as isc2 this certification is nc accredited certification that means it is iso 17024 uh, compliant it has been already recognized by the us department of defense and in uk as per the qualification standard this is actually already clearing something called as level 7 which means that if you are in uk and you are, you are done with your cissp that means it is be it will be considered as equivalent to uh, master's degree so this makes it as a wonderful choice for anybody who want to grow in cyber security it's a gold certification when it comes to cyber security on the other hand csm stands for certified information system uh, manager and this is actually hosted by information system audit and control association and again this is also quite mouthful so we call it as isaka uh, this doesn't have these much big list of accreditations but again this is also a good certification and it has got a lot of uh, value in the industry no here are a uh, list of things which i want to tell you very very upfront both of these certification basically they want you to get 5 years of experience the another disclaimer i want to put forward is these kind of certification do not require you to have hands on there is no coding experience also required to be, do these kind of certification because both of these certification are more from a management perspective how you are going to manage the cyber security environment and in so the I next one let's do a quick comparison between these two certifications let's try to understand this certification from different perspectives so that we are able to compare it number 1 is the focus for the certification cissp is more focused on your techno managerial role which will prepare you as a technical guy as well and a, as a management guy as well so you are going to be the best bridge between technology and the management at the same time and you will be able to understand your business requirement and all much more better and then apply it in cyber security at the same time on the other side csm is more for setting up the entire security program preparing the strategy and then rolling out your program fusing it with the risk management function and all of it so even though both of the certification has 5 years of eligibility in cissp you also can obtain a one year waiver and at the same time you can also do the same in csm as well obviously but even if you do not have 5 years of experience let's say in uh, cissp you can still apply for it and you can get the associate membership and then later on when when your experience uh, comes to 5 years level then you can apply for certification as well which is not the case in csm because in csm uh, even though you get the waiver you need to at least have 3 years of managerial experience so that is you know a little difference between them out the third important aspect which is the content so cissp is all about techno managerial thing and this is where few of the domains are completely focus on the management part and some of the uh, you know focus for the domains is more on the technical part as well so there are total eight domains in cissp and which will prepare you with lot much of information out there this also makes the certification a little bit challenging at the same time but again it's very very rewarding 
on the other side when it comes to csm there are total four domains that uh, is where the domain number one focus on preparing the strategy and the kind of things which you need to do as a security leader to set up your security program the second domain is focused more on the risk management and that is where you understand all the nuances of risk management and how you are going to set up that function in your company the third domain is more focused on understanding how you are going to implement the security program and domain number 4 is more focused on uh, identifying any kind of incidences and then you know prizing them and all of it but this entire focus is more setting up the process in the first place then if a particular incident is not resolved within a certain period of time then you also need to have a bcp policy uh, disaster recovery policy and all of it so that is where the certification is focusing now before we go to the next point i want to let you know about an amazing program called as ciassp success tool the program is for all those people like you who might be struggling with your ciassp preparation The program comes with one-to-one -one mentorship, hundred hours of CISSP classes, along with sixty hour of live exam practice. Can you believe it? Sixty plus hours of live exam practice to make sure that when you go to the real CISSP exam, you feel like, oh man, it's nothing. It's like something I do day in and day out. So that's the intent there. Most importantly. This program is very different from the boot camp style trainings which are available across the industry which actually barely helps you to pass the CISSP certificate. We have a great success rate and I myself has helped thousands of people getting CISSP certificate. The exam format. So CISSP is very special in that way I would say that is focused on CAT based exam which is computerized adaptive test that means there will be an algorithm which will be working in the back end this particular certification is based on uh, you know that particular algorithm and the, all the questions are dynamically allocated to you based on your previous answer and that is why uh, the number of questions which each candidate has to face may change from 100 to 150 it's a 3 hours of exam and you need to cover you have to get prepared for those 150 questions out there uh, some of most the, of the questions are mcq and some of them are also drag and drop as well the passing percentage for cissp is, is scoring 700 uh, numbers out of uh, 1000 on the other side when it comes to csm right it is more of a linear exam it's a 4 hour exam and you are going to get 150 questions in that uh, all of those questions are mcq q questions uh, multiple choice questions and you are you have to score 450 points out of 800 points to pass the exam so literally it's somewhere around like uh, 55% and for ciassp it is 70% i am pretty sure by now you have a very important question in your mind that is the costing part right how much i have to spend for this particular certification So for CISSP, if you are going for a single attempt, the fees is seven hundred and forty nine dollars. And recently, uh, ISC two has done a great job. They have also come out with something called as uh, peace of mind offer. That is where you just have to, uh, you know, spend nine hundred and forty eight dollar, which is one hundred and ninety nine dollar extra. But you can go with another attempt. If you fail your first attempt, you can also go with the second one as well. Now, when it comes to CSM, uh, it is actually based on a membership model. If you if you are already a member of ISACA, then the fees is five hundred and seventy five dollar. If you are not a member of ISACA, it is the first time you are going and booking your exam, then the fees is going to be seven hundred and sixty dollar. So almost you can say the fees for both of the certification is almost the same. because ciassp is covering both the technology part as well it is also covering the management part as well so i would say it has a broad range of topic which you have to cover with and that's make it little bit more challenging than the csm certification 
after you pass the certification exam does not mean that you got certified you have to go through an endorsement process and almost the endorsement process both of the certification is almost the same uh, you have to fill up an application uh, you have to get it attested by your supervisor and in CISSP you need to also get this endorsed by a CISSP guy and that is where you know uh, within a certain frame of mind you get your certification done you get that credentials The last point where we are going to compare these two certification is the maintenance part. What if you got certified and now you need to manage this particular certification or credential throughout your life. So that is also a very very important part. So both the certification you have to complete two requirement on an annual basis. Number one is completion of this uh, CPEs. There is something called as uh, continual professional education point which you need to do. In CSUM, this is 20 CPE per year. When it comes to CISSP, it is 40 CPEs per year. You also have to pay the annual maintenance fee and annual maintenance fee for CISSP certification is $135 per year. And apart from this, uh, the, even if you are getting additional certification from ISC2, you don't have to pay for them separately, which is not in the case of ISACA. Let's say you are certified for CSUM, you are also certified for CISA. You have to pay $155 independently uh, for each and every certification. So I think maintenance of CSUM certification uh, is a little bit difficult if you are planning to go for multiple certifications out there. I, uh, in the next section, we are going to talk about how you are going to make a decision. Should I go with CSUM or should I go with CISSP? So finally, how you are going to decide either I should go with CISSP or I should go with CSUM. The first criteria, in my opinion, has to be what is your long term career goal? If you are into a technical role and that is more of a hands-on and you are directly involved into implementation of security controls and all of it, uh, you want to be a key player into the entire techno managerial space, that is where you should go with CISSP. On the other hand, if you are playing more into the managerial role and uh, you know more into setting up the processes and those kind of stuff, then I think preparing for CSUM is much more valuable for you. The another criteria which I feel is very very important is what is your current role? Is your current role demanding something? If your current role is demanding more of a technical uh, know-how, uh, you need to know the concepts very very clearly and it is more of a technical uh, related concepts, then CISSP is a preferred choice for you. If you are more into setting up into management and governance, then obviously you, have, you can go with CSUM. So here is my personal advice to you, right? I have been training for both these certification for a long period of time and I know uh, what is what. You have to decide it based on what is your long term objective, what is your current role perspective, uh, what is the exact requirement you have in your current role and then you can go with both of the certification. In my advice, I would say go with CISSP first because CISSP is more of a, uh, you can say, Enriching certification, which is going to give you a lot of technical know-how, which will boost up your confidence uh, in the cybersecurity space. And then once you advance into this, uh, you are more going to play into the governance and the management and leadership role. That is where you should also do CSUM uh, as well at the same time. So that would be my piece of advice to you. And for both of the certification, feel free to reach out to me. I have a wonderful program to help you uh, in your entire journey. That is where we just don't, don't deliver training. It is an end-to-end -end coaching program.